Hello everybody on YouTube land. I've been issued a challenge. Sorry, rather issued, not issued. I don't even know where that came from. Issued a challenge from Mark Jackson here on YouTube land. Uh, so I've never actually really done one of these before, um, so I'm looking forward to jumping into it. We've got a few questions lined up here by Mark Jackson. I've got one that's been added by my wife here. Um, so I've been tasked with answering these questions and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, call for four other YouTubers to come along and do the same thing. So, uh, first thing off the bat, why did you start YouTube? Uh, oh, it's kind of... To be honest, the first reason I started YouTube is I, like, in a, like a young, silly teenage way, I wanted to have a travel vlog. It was like really big back in like the early days of YouTube, travel vlogs. Um, you had people like Sonia Gill, who uh, is the uh, leader of um, the Fluence Corporation, and stuff like that, doing these travel vlogs. And I really want to get on board with that. So you'll see my earliest playlist on this channel is one called That Random Guy in Japan that was filmed in 2006. That was a long time ago. And then I pretty much went quiet, so went off the grid. Um, then I came back in 2012 and uploaded a, animated, a collection of animated shorts uh, that myself and one of my best friends uh, well, actually, my best friend and I did together, um, and we've gone ahead and, and pop on the YouTube land. We haven't really done anything with that. I'd love to pick that up, um, and if anybody's interested, I, uh, it'd be cool if you guys can give it a watch. It's called Rays. You'll find the uh, playlist on my channel there. But I kind of went off the grid for a bit there, and the reason I've, I've properly come back and started making YouTube content uh, pretty much in its entirety and, and just religiously almost is um, back in November uh, one of my friends who I've uh, recently just come back from Japan with uh, was like well, why don't we start a podcast now I w had planned to start a gaming like a exclusively gaming channel um, before then with another one of my friends um, but that sort of didn't really go anywhere um, and then I didn't really get into the full use of YouTube until I started doing this this Doctor Who podcast. But I've started gaming a lot more. Um, the person that I do, uh, so Harriet Shelley, you'll see him uh, uploading on this channel as well. Um, and he uploads quite a bit of content. He's he's the one that pushed me to start doing the podcast. And from there, we've just done um, the gaming content. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to start doing reviews. I think everybody in their grandma does reviews these days. So uh, I don't know if I'm putting my hat in. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's why I started YouTube, essentially, for in, in, back in 2015, November, so nearly a year now, I started properly using my YouTube account to upload proper content, because I just, I wanted to just start streaming my gaming. Um, I have a lot of games, and uh, I want to play them, basically, and this gave me an incentive to start doing that. Uh, the next question here I've got from Mark Jackson is, where did your YouTube name come from? Uh, so this is a bit of an interesting one. So I'm um, half Māori. So my mother is uh, Māori native New Zealander, uh, for those of you who don't know what that is. And um, essentially um, my channel name you'll see is written as Fa No. And that's actually the uh, way you pronounce the Māori word for family. Um, it's not spelt the same, uh, but that's how you pronounce it, Fa No. So that's where my name came from. I, I wanted this to be more of like a... Um, treated as like my family you know my friends and my family and I had a place to, to upload our game footage to um, you, you'll see there's uh, one stream there where my uh, my sister and I were playing Outlast together and I just really wanted this to be uh, an outlet for my family and friends and I to get together and do some gaming and upload stuff uh, within the community so that's where my name comes from it is the way to pronounce the Māori word for family uh, how long have you been doing YouTube I sort of semi answered that in the beginning um, I've been doing it properly, doing it, not just like random uploads, uh, properly doing YouTube content uh, since last November, uh, so it'll be a year next week actually, when I started doing this. Next question here we've got is, what do you use to record with? Um, predominantly I'm using the PlayStation Share function, uh, but when I record my podcast I'm using a Vaya. Uh, I, I want to get uh, Harriet Skelly and myself some Blue Yetis. They're really high-end um, microphones, but they aren't the cheapest. But I want to get us some studio quality mics so that we can increase the quality of our podcasts. So um, at the moment I'm uh, just recording with a Turtle Beach Pro Gaming headset. Um, and I use the boost function. 
to uh, to record with. And Harriet Skelly is on the other side of my uh, of the city we live in, and he, um, he's using uh, some Logitech, I believe, uh, Bluetooth headset. So I'm looking at getting us both uh, Blue Yetis. That's probably a few months away now. They just save some money to go ahead and get those. But um, at the moment, yeah, we're just using. Uh, Avea, which is a plugin for Skype for us to record our podcast. So we're recording over the internet. It's probably why you'll notice there's some drops when Harriet Skelly speaks sometimes. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all we, all we use to record. Harriet Skelly is um, capturing his game footage. So you'll no, notice he's got, there's the Harriet Skelly Plays playlist. Um, at the end of this uh, video, you'll see, you'll see it. You'll also see a link to Mark Jackson's channel. I definitely suggest people go and subscribe to him. He makes pretty good quality content he's playing through Mafia 3 and uh, Fallout 4 the new Cola pack at the moment so it's been pretty good watching him and, and uh, yeah pretty much that's what we use OBS Avea and the PlayStation share function do you make your own thumbnails is the next question on the list here and the answer is yes I've only started doing it the past uh, two and a half months but uh, I've started making my own thumbnails. I think the channel looks a lot cleaner. Um, you'll see there's artwork used to represent myself. Uh, it's the fellow with the uh, folded arms, a cartoon version of myself. Harriet Skelly is represented with a uh, skeleton with the top hat. And uh, Beef, who you'll notice is in my Battlefield 1 streams. Um, and soon we'll be doing a podcast with me. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to be doing a podcast about film very soon with a very, very good quality headset, uh, um, studio mic rather. I'm looking forward to doing that, but um, he's represented by a silhouette smoking in a top hat. So I'm pretty much the only avatar without one. It's pretty funny. Um, and uh, who made your intros and outros? Uh, me, actually. I made my intro. Um, and I made my outro. I decided to get rid of my outro recently, now that um, YouTube has these end cards. And I really hated having that end card. I think this, the, the way that YouTube's done it now with these end ca uh, these uh, sort of end cards for mobile phone devices, I think is a significantly better way to do it. And I'm just going to use that from now on. Uh, intros uh, with Mark Jackson's um, video challenge. Uh, he talked about intros being kind of the thing that people skip. And um, I think that's kind of true. People probably skip over it, but I like having it there. I just like having the fact that I've got my, uh, well, not my, but our channel. Uh, represented in the beginning there. Uh, you'll notice it's not on every video. It's on the ones that pretty much um, Harry Skelly and I have used uh, PC recording to do. Um, and that's when you'll see our intros. So yeah, I'm, I made the intros and outros. But the outro is gone now completely. And uh, do you think you'll ever quit YouTube? I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know, we're not, I'm not exactly making you know, big money with it. Uh, but I mean, like, uh, I suppose if I keep at it, that might happen. Uh, but I don't, I don't see me going away anytime soon. If, if there ever comes into a point in my life where it's like getting in the way of my personal life, then yeah. Uh, but no, I don't, I don't see me quitting YouTube anytime soon. And I had a question put through by my wife uh, for this, and she asked, "Why don't you face cam anymore?" And that's kind of a poignant question for me because I don't really know why I stopped face camming. I, if you watch my earlier streams, I face cammed a lot, especially with my Bloodborne playthrough. Um, but I don't know. I, I think people really want to just see the game at the end of the day. And I think face cam is more of something that people want to see when someone's playing a horror game. So I think when Resident Evil 7 comes out and um, I start playing it with the VR headset, I think, yeah, that's when I'll start using face cam again because everybody will be sitting there you know, hashtag giggling um, and probably making memes at my dispense uh, so yeah that is that so um, channels that I want to nominate oh that's a bit of a hard one um, I'm thinking yes yeah, so um, uh, I reckon warrior B the best man gold not the giant ultimate gamer uh, that's the four YouTube channels I uh, I challenge. Um, it's up to you whether you accept, but it'd be pretty cool to to hear your answers to these questions. All right, well, um, I've been that random guy from Farno, and uh, everybody have a brilliant day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Peace out.